Air quality is determined by the amount of air pollutants combined with weather conditions at any given time. In wintertime, high pressure, light winds, and low temperatures can create a temperature inversion, causing air quality to become unhealthy due to pollution, like wood smoke, building up at ground level. What is a temperature inversion? Also called an inversion layer, this weather feature is characterized by a layer of warm air sitting on top of cooler air below. Under normal conditions, air temperatures drop as altitude increases. However, with inversion layers, this is reversed. How do inversion layers form? On calm, cold winter nights, surface temperatures can quickly drop as the Earth loses heat. Inversion layers are formed as air comes in contact with the Earth's cold surface overnight, lowering air temperatures at ground level. Since warm air rises, the cooler air and pollutants underneath the inversion layer cannot escape. The warm layer acts as a lid, trapping the cold layer of stagnant air along with any pollutants at ground level. Within this stagnant layer of air, wood smoke pollution can concentrate at ground level, reaching unhealthy levels. How do inversion layers affect air quality? Inversion layers act as a nearly impenetrable lid, preventing pollutants from dispersing, causing pollution to build up over time. About one-third of wintertime air pollution in the Bay Area comes from wood burning. During colder months when residents tend to burn wood, smoke pollution can degrade air quality. When there is a temperature inversion, this smoke can become a serious public health issue. Particulate matter, the main pollutant in wood smoke, cannot be seen with the naked eye and can evade the body's natural defenses when inhaled, penetrating deep into the lungs and even the bloodstream. This pollutant has been linked to premature death, asthma, cognitive decline, and other serious health impacts. By not burning wood, you can help improve air quality. Learn more at baaqmd.gov.